Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change security questions on Webull application. So first of all, of course, you would like to go and download Webull application if you don't have it on your phone. Of course, you can do that through Play Store if you're using an Android, App Store if you're using an iPhone, or any other store you could be possibly using. Then you would like actually to go and sign up to create your account. Of course, if it's your first time using the application, if it's not your first time. All you need to do just go and log into your account and let's just get straight into the tutorial so let me just go here and open my webull application as you should of course if you want to follow this tutorial steps and here wait until it's actually upload a bit so uh, here as you can see that is actually the main screen of the application so here of course first of all if you actually want to change your security questions you would like to let's say first of all as an example you want to log into your account and you actually forgot the password so they will actually ask you some security questions you may sit if, if you already set those questions already but if you didn't they will not even ask you that so you cannot even reset the security questions if you didn't actually choose even that in the settings so as i said if you want to actually uh, if you forgot the answers to your security questions of course you will find an option called reset now and there's the submit button then after you have submitted the required documents uh, the team of webull will review them and will send you uh, an email in email of course a reset link where you can list it, your password and even the security questions all of that if you actually set it up in your settings so let's just go here to the menu click at the settings here and here if we click at account and security we will have here of course the account security here so here as you can see we have two factors authentication pattern unlock and change login password so let's say as an example you forgot your password and or let's just say as an example you already log into your account for the first time make sure to enable this option which is two-factor authentication so if you enable that you will be actually if you click then at edit you can of course act uh, edit the trusted device so let me just disable this because i don't want it so make sure to enable that so the next time you forgot your password you will actually don't need the security questions the annoying stuff so all you need to do they will actually send you a code to your phone number or email address and you'll be actually good to go so that will be actually for the tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye